okay this is the this is the uh, exhaust list of uh, 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 items i'm going to cover as part of hcm data loader okay right so we have just seen the recap of what we have discussed uh, yesterday inbound outbound extension customization security workflows reporting and the fast formulas okay now let's talk about hcm data loader so why do we need hcm data loader the primary i mean uh, why we need it because we need to load data into the fusion application as part of inbound integration right when we say need to load data in the fusion applications right then typically how does outside world work outside world work to get data into any 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 system i'm not talking about fusion in general to any system to load data into the database what we do we get data we get a file or whatever uh, data file format or a connection to the other database and we establish that or we receive a file from the other other application into our application and we go to our database we write a pl sql code or a java code or a .NET code and uh, read data from the file and call a dml statement insert update delete into our database that is as simple as such that's how we do in a typical world but as fusion is a cloud based application and especially we are talking about saas model in saas model as i was telling yesterday we don't have access to our database and we don't have access to the database we fusion doesn't allow direct interaction with the database it means you cannot write insert statement you cannot write delete statement you cannot write update statement into the fusion database when you can't do that how do we interact with this fusion application how do we do the uh, ongoing maintenance if you want to load uh, uh, if you want to load data uh, on day to day basis in the fusion applications how do you do that how can you automatically do that how do you load bulk data how do you load images how do you load documents into fusion applications how do you load uh, uh, flex field information okay so to load to load that kind of information we need uh, fusion what what did fusion has given hcm data loader which will take care of that part so hcm data loader is a, is a tool which which will satisfy all our requirements okay to load any data from our, from uh, from our external applications to the fusion application hcm data loader supports large number of data objects that to be loaded into the fusion applications right so that is so for that we need to learn how do this tool behave okay the behavior of this tool that is a primary thing you need to know before starting any hcm fusion implementation project okay because this is the tool comes at the first phase of the project to do the data conversion okay so we need to learn this hcm data loader okay so how does it work we just need to send a file in the format that hcm loader can understand once we send the file what hcm data loader will do it will validate the syntax of the file that we have sent to hcm data loader and that import to a stale table and do the data validations and load data into fusion based tables okay so what our steps are mentioned in the hcm data loader the middle part all these things happens in the cloud validating the syntax happens in the cloud by oracle import to stale table happens into cloud by oracle and oracle do the data validations and oracle loads data into fusion based table Ask me one question. Mm -hmm. So, this staging table is a common staging table, or it is staging table of each individual tables? That is, like for example, AR interface, mm -hmm. AP yes. interface staging table. Is it like that, or is it a common staging table? Ah, uh, you could say like uh, individual staging tables. Okay, got it. Thanks. Yeah. Okay, once once the Hatsum data loader loads data into Fusion based tables, it is available in the Fusion database and it's available in the Fusion application. now one thing you need to note here is what are the middle part is all these things are done by oracle so what what are the what are the things that we need to do we just need to send the file in a format that hcm data loader can understand so that that file will will satisfy all these conditions the syntax should be satisfied while importing to stale table that validations should be satisfied 
and the data validation should be satisfied okay all these things should be satisfied is completely based on how you are sending the file to the hcm data loader so for that preparation of the file is a primary step in this hcm data loader part okay so we need to understand how to prepare the file that is that is a primary learning that we are going to do in our upcoming sessions okay now as input is a file format the advantage is we can send data from multiple sources okay so uh, uh, we can send data from our in-house application we can send data from our third party applications we can send data from any source because the input is a input is is a file format right so once you send the file the hcm data loader can understand data can be loaded immediately there's no no delay in that okay and uh, another use of hcm data loader is this hcm data loader can be used actually when we when we implement the fusion applications right any application typically what kind of data we will have primarily we will have the setup data setup data in sense to set up to set up a fusion applications we need some the basic setup information let us say we need to create a lookups let us say we need to create an action reasons or we need to create uh, 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 legal entities okay let, let they, they, they can be called as enterprise setups right we need to send the setup data and also we need to send the uh, transactional data transactional data in sense what is the current data we have in our current system example we need to load employee information to the cloud what are the current active employees that is the current transactional data what are the actions are happening to the current employees okay current employees and promotion action is happening that action should flow from uh, uh, from uh, our in-house application to the fusion applications if we implement fusion applications which we is going to act as system of truth for all our hr records right and also we may need uh, uh, we, we need to we may need to load the history of records history of data transactional history so the so so all these enterprise or setup data and transactional data transaction history data all these kinds of data has to be loaded right and again so uh, while loading the data there are two kinds of uh, 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 data loading activity happens one is data conversion if you are planning to move all your hr modules all your in-house modules into your fusion applications then what you need to do you need to do one time conversion move all our hr data from your in-house it can be ebs or people soft or jd adwords or anything move everything to the fusion that is a one time activity right so for one time activity it is is a bulk loading of everything it can be all the setup data transaction data history data documents images everything move everything into the into the fusion okay so has some data loader completely supports loading all this data in bulk amount in some scenarios we may not allow we, we may not uh, we may need not to move all our hr modules from uh, on premise to fusion applications but we wanted to move only some module into the fusion applications last yesterday i was saying right like an example for a coexistence model where we have all the modules in the oracle e business suit all hr modules payroll benefits performance management core hr self service learning management ad equipment and oracle ebs finance supply chain management i procurement we have everything in the oracle e business suit and a client has a requirement that they want to buy and they want to have a they want to buy another module into the fusion into the into the uh, ebs say compensation management where we can give uh, merit increases or pay the bonuses give the stocks for that one for when they contact to oracle hey we want to buy a module in the in the oracle e business suit then oracle might say hey we have a very good product in fusion go and buy it there we are going to give it for very cheap and it is advanced uh, uh, technology so our, the make our company will buy oracle compensation in the fusion and remaining everything in ebs in that case what we need to do 
we need to feed data from Oracle ABS to Oracle Fusion Compensation Module, maybe a weekly basis or maybe monthly basis, maybe daily basis if need arises. So every day we need to feed data from Oracle EBS, EBS to Oracle Fusion every day. And uh, similarly, Oracle Fusion compensation module, if any salary increases happens or any stock increases happens, that data has to come back to the Oracle EBS because it is the place where payroll is being maintained. If you need to bring the data back and send, back, send data back to the Fusion on daily basis, it means ongoing things should happen between two, two systems automatically. If, if any application, if any Oracle applications runs in this model, then that model is called coexistence model. In coexistence model, we need to send the data in incremental update mode. Okay, so if you need to send that in incremental update mode, then uh, there should be a mechanism where Fusion and the on-premise system should interact automatically. And HSM data loader is one tool which will give that provision to do that automation. Okay, so for in this both the cases, we need to use HSM data loader. And also it supports large volumes of data and hierarchical data. As I said, we can load many number of objects using the Fusion HSM data loader. I won't say HSM data loader supports each and every object available in the Fusion applications. But what if HSM data loader supports enough number of uh, uh, objects to get loaded into the Fusion applications? It supports large volumes of data and also hierarchical data. What do you mean by hierarchical data? Hierarchical data means any application, there can be a three kinds of data. One is the primary data. And the second one is a data depending upon the primary data. And third one is a foreign, foreign data. Okay, example for that is, let us say if you create a job, a job is a primary data. If you create a job grade, job grade always refers to the job. Right, so job grade is, a, is part of a job hierarchy. Similarly, job evaluation is another object. It's also a part of a job. Okay, and uh, job extra information, it's also a part of a job. So if job is a parent, job grade, job evaluation, job extra information, job legislative information, these all comes as a child of the job. That is called hierarchical data, right? While loading data, HDL, HDL supports loading the hierarchical data. If there is a hierarchy between different objects, and if you prepare the file in the proper hierarchical format, and HDL can understand that, hey, these objects fall into, for, have fallen into the hierarchical format, and we have to treat them as a hierarchical object, it means job has to be loaded first, and then we have to load the job grade, job evaluation, job extra information. So hierarchical data support is available. Other one, as I said, foreign, foreign uh, data, it means, if you're loading employee information, you'll be loading the job ID of the employee. If you need to load job ID of the employee, job ID should be available already as part of a job creation, right? So job is, so in assignment information of an employee, we are referring the job, that is a foreign key. So all this kind of, all this kind of relationship, all this kind of hierarchical format of data can be supported using HCM data loader. And also it supports complex business objects. When I say complex business objects, like in images, like a documents, like a translation data, multi-language support, it, 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 do, it, it do offers all that support for that all those complex objects along with the full date effective history, which is very much important for any HR modules. Because in any HR module, data changes by date. If employee is single in the last year, he is married in married in 2017, let us say. Then if you want to pull employee information, you will get two records. One record is from, let us say 2011 employee joined from 2011 to 2016 employee is single and 2016 to till now he is married. So two records. Similarly, think of employee having a promotion, employee having a transfer, employee having a grade changes, employee having a salary increases by time. Think how many records the employee can have, 
right? So if we need to move the data in an incremental order of the date, and HDL do support that, provided if you have given a proper effect to start and end dates in each of your individual objects, then you can load data with a full date effect history. These are all the advantages of HSM data loader, and that is the reason everyone moved to HSM data loader to do the data in the bulk load and as part of data conversion or part of incremental updates. So with that, I think terminology coexistence, we have explained what is coexistence, running the running uh, uh, Oracle applications or any other applications, some any HR applications, maybe domain specific or any finance applications running parallelly, which integrate on day-to-day -day basis, then that model is called coexistence model. Especially if you're running on uh, Oracle, any Oracle family products, Oracle business suit, people, software, JD, AdWords, and Fusion. If if we run applications in this in the in this in this manner, then Oracle supports coexistence model, and Oracle has given some tools to have a sync between these two these these uh, on-premise and Fusion modules, but they were not so popular. But still, we may need to go for customizations. But Oracle do support coexistence model between the on-premise application and Fusion applications. That is uh, uh, that is one promise Fusion has given. That is the reason. Uh, Fusion Oracle is able to buy. Uh, sorry, Oracle is able to sell the Fusion module into the market, saying that hey, don't worry, you can still continue have to have your on-premise applications in either in EBS or PeopleSoft or whatever, and still you can have some of your modules into the Fusion applications, and you can maintain both at the same time. But not every module, not every object, not every module of uh, uh, EBS or any on-premise application can be moved to Fusion. Example, if the dependencies will be there. Example, you cannot move payroll into the Fusion application without buying the Core HR license. Core HR is mandatory. So uh, this is one example I'm saying. So not every module is supported in the coexistence model. There are only some models which can be supported in the coexistence type. Okay. Okay. So let's okay and and uh, another thing I was talking about complex business objects. What is a business object? Business object means any component, any component in application. Okay, any functional component in the Fusion application can be called a business object. Example: employee is an object, location is a business object, department is a grade is a business object, grade position job. Legal entity, business unit, uh, uh, legislative data group, or I'm talking about HR specific. Data.